Hey, it's your girl, Tisha. You thought Ella Marie. And I was guided to read some scriptures today at 11 11 a.m. And this is what I'm going to do. Take heed that ye do not your alms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise, ye have no reward of your Father, which is in heaven. Therefore, when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But when thou was alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth. That thine alms may be in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, Pray to thy father, which is in secret, and thy father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. But not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things ye have need of before you ask him. After this manner, pray ye our father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Moreover, when ye fast, be not as the hypocrites of a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces, that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward, but thou, when thou fastest, anoint thine head and wash thy face, that thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto thy Father, which is in secret. And thy Father, which seat in secret, shall reward thee openly. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon the earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will be your heart also. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil, 
thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? True wisdom. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, for else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. Mammon is the God of money. Okay? Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not life more than meat and the body than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are they not much better than they? Are ye not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? Why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which to day is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you? Oh, ye of little faith. Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? What shall we drink? Wherewithal shall we be clothed? For all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father know that you need all of these things. But seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the tomorrow, for the tomorrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. And that brings me to another note that the Most High guided me on Saturday. And this is in Deuteronomy 14, 15, right? 15, 15. At the end of every seven years, thou shalt make a release. And this is the manner of the release. Every creditor that lendeth ought unto his neighbor shall release it. He shall not exact it of his neighbor or of his brother because it is called the Lord's release, the Most High's release. So basically... Somebody owes you money and it's been seven years by default, by the by the law of the most high. You need to let it go. Whatever it is, money, something they did, let it go, especially after seven years. That's law. Right. Just like the credit bureaus, they restart your credit after seven years. Why? Because the most high, this is the natural law. You can't go against it. You understand? Of a foreigner, thou mayest exact it again, but that which is thine with thy brother hand shall release, save when there shall be no poor among you. For the Lord shall greatly bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance to possess it. Only if thou carefully hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and do all these commandments, which I command thee this day. For the Lord thy God blessed thee, and as he promised thee, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, but thou shalt not borrow, and thou shalt reign over many nations, but they that shall not reign over thee. 
If there be among you a poor man of thy brethren with, within any of thine gates in thy land, which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not harden thy heart, nor shut thine hand from thy poor brother. Give. But thou shalt open thy hand wide unto him, and thou shalt surely lend him sufficient for his need in that which he wanteth. Thine eye be evil against thy poor brother, and thou givest him not, and he cry unto the Lord against thee, it is a sin unto thee. So, denying your brother, it is a sin unto the Most High. Thou shalt surely give him, and thine heart shall not be grieved when thou givest unto him because that for this thing the lord thy god shall bless thee in all thy works and in all that thou puttest thine hand unto for the poor shall never cease out of thy land before i command thee saying thou shalt open thy hand wide unto thy brother, to thy poor, and to thy needy in thy land. And that is the Most High speaking. So, give, be a cheerful giver. Let things go. It's a commandment to let things go. And that's what I have. But today, all praises to the Most High. It's your girl, Tisha. Precious eyes realize, Israel Marie. Peace.